Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the September Challenger. Today is our final session. And so I hope you're looking forward to it. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And um, so for today's class, it will be recorded just like it was in the previous weeks. Um, and so if uh, anyone needs to skip out early or um, if you want to redo the class at any point in the future, you are of course welcome to do so. The video should be uploaded onto our Parkinson Society BC YouTube channel about a week from now. Um, I believe the uh, class from last week has been uploaded already. So if you missed last week's class for any reason, you are of course welcome to have a look on the YouTube channel. So today's our last class. We are going to turn up the notch a little bit on the challenge aspect of the exercises. You'll probably see some familiar exercises today and um, that we're just changing up a little bit and progressing a bit further with them. Now we are using the Zoom webinar platform today, uh, meaning that um, you won't be able to see each other and um, all of your microphones are already disabled. So we don't have any um, background noise coming through as we're doing the class. Now, if you did have any questions, you are welcome to either type in the chat box and I will come and have a read um, at the end of the class and answer those questions. Or equally, you are welcome to click on the raise hand function um, and I will manually unmute your microphone so you can speak as well. Oh, and I see a question right when I say that. Uh, Peter, did you want to unmute yourself if you have a question? Not sure if the raise hand function was clicked on by accident. Um, but anyway, so today you are going to need um, a tissue box or some kind of an object that you can step over. Nothing too high. Um, so tissue box is great. Or if you have like a yoga block, that's great. Um, or if you don't, maybe some books. So whatever um, you've got at home, just make sure it doesn't move. Um, if you are stacking things like books, just make sure it doesn't fall off and, and trip you by accident during the class. So we'll just need uh, something for you to step over. And um, that's all you need. So today's class structure will follow the previous class structures uh, where we will do a warm up together. And then we've got five exercises to do um, and we're gonna do it a circuit style. So you've got 90 seconds each uh, exercise and we're gonna run through the five exercises twice. So you do basically two rounds of the five exercises and then we'll do a bit of a cool down and that's it. So if you did want to, uh, look at any of our uh, fall exercise classes, you are welcome to have a look on our website and register for those. We've got a standing exercise series and a seated exercise series coming up. So if those strike your interest, please feel free to sign up. Okay, let's get started. I'm just going to pull up my timer here so I can keep time as we're doing the class today. Okay, you can put your tissue boxes aside for now. We're just going to start with a bit of a warm up and we're going to start as always with some marching on the spot, lifting those knees up nice and high, standing nice and tall, open the chest and swing the arms. So just like before, when we are doing our marching, our high knee marching and we're swinging our arms, just make sure that your arms are swinging forwards and backwards equally. Okay, so we're not just going forward, so we're not just going forward, but we're going backwards with the arms just as much. Okay, so you can see here that my arms are going forward and back and they're relatively uh, even in the amplitude there. Okay. Now, as we're marching today, we're going to turn on the spot. Nice and tall. Once you make all the way around, you're gonna go the other direction. You're turning on the spot. Try not to travel, right? We're gonna try to stay on the spot as we're doing this turning. Swing those arms, lifting those knees up nice and high. Chest up, keep the feet nice and Rhythmic if you can, so we don't want to quick and then slow, quick and then slow, but we want it to be a steady sort of pace as you're doing the marching on the top. Nicely done. A few more. Hopefully you're turning in different directions each time so you're not getting too dizzy. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, 
We're gonna do some scoops. We're gonna stick one leg forward, opposite arm, scooping up and around. So you're circling that arm. Let me turn sideways. You're sticking your leg out, sticking your bottom back, scooping with the opposite arm, almost like you're picking something off the floor and circling it back behind you. So remember, if anything feels a little bit too much today in terms of the speed, you're welcome to slow it down. If you need a break at any point, you're of course welcome to take a break, but see if you can come right back into it if you can. Last four, three, two, one, legs nice and wide. We're gonna do some squat reaches, just as a bit of warm up. Getting nice and low in the squat or as low as you feel you're able to safely at this point in time. And then you're gonna stand up and reach on a diagonal. See if you can open those fingers nice and wide, almost like you're wiping a window or something like that. Nicely done, nice fluid movement, if you can. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and go for some butt kicks here. So your legs are nice and wide and you're swinging your weight side to side. You're bringing the heel up towards your bottom every time. And as we're doing this, we're going to circle the shoulders back. So try not to get the legs too close. You want them to be wide so that you can really kind of shift your weight from side to side. And circling forward, keep the legs going. We're doing, still doing our bum kicks. But we're circling the shoulders forward as we're doing that. Okay, I'm gonna stand sideways. So we are gonna go for arm swings. We are gonna do one arm circling backwards, little bend, small bend in the knees as the arm comes down. You probably know what's coming next. So stand up nice and tall, circling the arm back. And then when you're ready, you're going to circle the other arm forward in the opposite direction. Oops, my arms are cut off a little bit. Let me get a little lower for a second. Keep going with your legs. I'm just getting a little lower for a second because I want to see my arms. So one arm goes back, one arm goes forward. They reach the bottom at the same time and they reach the top at the same time. Little bend to the knees as the arms swing down. This one's a little bit of a thinker. Nicely done. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and drop the arms. Now we're gonna start with our other arm circling back. Little soft bend to the knees every time the arm comes down to the bottom. And then when you're ready, you're gonna circle your other arm forward in the opposite direction. So one arm goes back, one arm goes forward. And even though they're swinging in different uh, patterns, we are going to have the arms reach the bottom at the same time reach the top at the same time as much as you're able to. Still doing the little bends in the knees as the arms come down past your leg. Nicely done. Last four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna stand sideways to you for a second. We're gonna just rock our weight forward and backwards on our feet. So rocking our weight back to our heels, then to our toes to our heels, to our toes. It's a pretty small movement. We're just gonna rock our weight forwards and backwards. And then when you're ready, when you rock your weight forward onto your toes, you're gonna rise and lower back onto your heels. Rise, lower back onto your heels. You're welcome to reach your arms out to forward or sideways, whatever you like to keep yourself balanced. When you rock upwards onto your toes, you're thinking about pushing the floor away from you. Rather than thinking you're just going up, you're pushing the floor away from you with your toes. That will help you stay a little bit more balanced. Last two. Last one. And legs nice and wide. Reach those arms up. 
And we're gonna tip down to the side, one arm reaching towards the floor, one arm towards the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears, big open reaches, holding for five, four, three, two, one, coming back up, drop the arms, bring them up again, same to the other side, tipping over, make sure your chest is facing forward. So we're not doing this, right? We're keeping the chest forward, so you really feel that stretch holding for five, four, three, two, one. Coming up, drop the arms, legs in. Take your hand, grab hold of the opposite hip. The other hand wraps around the back, grabs hold of the other hip. Standing tall, feet planted. Tall, and you're going to pull yourself around to twist back to look at the back wall. Nice and tall through the spine, holding for five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Other side, grab hold of your hip. Other hand coming around the back. You're holding onto your opposite hip on both sides. Standing tall, feet planted. Twist yourself around to look at the back wall. Spine nice and long for five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Okay, so five exercises. We're gonna run through them, 90 seconds each one. First exercise, we're gonna take our tissue box or um, a yoga block or, or some books, whatever you've got at home, um, but something that's around the size of a tissue box. We're gonna put it down in front of us. Uh, let me move it this way. Here's what we're gonna do. The first exercise, we are going to take a big step over, opposite arm to leg reaching. So my left leg is forward, so my right arm is reaching forward. My other arm is back, noticing my fingers are nice and wide open. Big lift and coming back. Same to the other side, big lift. Stepping over the tissue box and then big lift on the way back as well. So what I don't wanna see is for us to do a big step forward and then do this on the way back. And I also don't wanna see the legs go around the box, we want to go up and over the box, up and over to come back every time. Okay? I'm going to keep alternating the legs. And as you're doing this, try to fill up as much space as you can in as sharp as you can with the movement. Are you ready? 90 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Big stomp over. Reach, reach, reach. Step in. Other side. Big stomp over and reach. So really think about lifting the legs nice and high with every movement that you're doing, as sharp as you can. How far can you stretch those arms? Imagine there's a million dollars on the wall in front of you and behind you, and you definitely want both. So you're reaching those arms as far as you can. You're lifting the legs as high as you can. Try not to touch that tissue box on the floor at all. Big lift. Big step, big lift, big step, big lift. Nicely done. Keep it going. You've got 40 seconds left. Nicely done. Really think about being nice and long through the spine as well, even though your knees are bending and there's kind of a lunge position. You still want your spine to be nice and long, and you almost want there to be like a stomping sound on the floor. That's how much you should be lifting your legs off the floor. Nicely done. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, second exercise. Turning so that the, the tissue box is beside you. So not in front of you, beside you this time. Arms up in front of you, hands nice and open. We're gonna step over the tissue box sideways. Big, big, big squats, big lift. Clap the hands together. Again, we go open as wide as you can. Clap, open, clap, okay? That's the exercise. Now, it's really important that when we're doing this exercise, we're not just like this doesn't count. You wanna step out as far as you can and get nice and low, and then use the strength of your legs to lift that leg up again. So remember, when you come in, we're not just going like this. In, we're going big lift, in. So on the way out, big lift. On the way in, 
big lift as well. Okay, are we ready? 90 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Big lift, big lift. Try to keep those elbows straight if you can. So when you open and you clap, your arms are straight. Really think about opening the chest as you step out to the side into that squat position. Hopefully you got a little more room than I do. I feel like I'm hitting my blinds here a little bit, but that's okay, keep going. Big step, big lift every time. Like you're walking through some tall grass, gotta lift your boots up over the top of the grass every time. Spread those fingers out as wide as you can. Energy into those fingertips. Nicely done. Keep going. You're 50 seconds in. You got 30 seconds left. Keep those arms up. We're probably burning a little bit, but keep the arms up. Elbow straight. Nicely done, 15 seconds. Keep going. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's move that tissue box. Our third exercise, we're gonna do our plank breaker with a little bit of a jumping option in between. Okay, so our plank breaker looks like this. One leg forward, one leg back, reach those arms up in the air. So really imagine you've got a plank of wood in your hands and you're trying to break it over your back knee like this. <sighs> Holding that balance, reset. Okay, so let me show you that again. The back knee is driving up, the arms come down like you're breaking a piece of wood. <sighs> Over your knee, hold that balance and step back. So you're gonna do three of them. So you're gonna go <sighs> one, hold that balance, two, three, bring it back. Then you jump switch three times like this with the arms still up. One, two, Three, and now you're on the other side to start again. Now, if you don't want to jump, you can just go one, two, three to start on the other side. So you can just step back and switch the legs, okay? So we're not going forward and switch. We are going to step back and switch three times if you don't want to jump. Now, when you're doing your plank breaker, what I don't want to see is you start in this beautiful straight position. And then as soon as we do the point breaker, we're like this. So you really want to think about almost like you're digging that front heel down into the earth and you're growing taller when you're doing the plank breaker. So rather than like this, we are going tall and reset, okay? So three plank breakers, either three jump switches to do the other side or three step backs to do the other side, okay? 90 seconds, are we ready? Remember, think tall, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Really drive that back knee up. As sharp as you can, as much force as you can. Imagine that plank of wood that you're trying to break in your hands. Switch, one, two, three. Same to the other side. Remember, you don't have to jump. You are absolutely welcome to just step to switch. But if you are doing the jumping version, I want quiet feet, quiet feet. One, two, three. None of this. No big landings, okay? <sighs> Try to make it as quiet as you can, cushion those jumps. <sighs> nice and tall. <sighs> Nicely done. Remember, you can step as well if you don't want to jump. Keep those arms up as you're doing the switches if you can. 
Make sure you're balancing for a second or two every time you do your plank breaker before you set the leg back. Thirty seconds. Grow taller every time you pump that back knee up. up. Nicely done. Balance for a second or two. You've got last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done. Okay. So you've done three exercises so far. We've got two more, and then we're going to run through everything again. So your next one, we are doing our skater lunges. So if I ignore my arms for a second, this is what the legs look like. Stepping out to the side. My leg is going to go behind on a diagonal, bending both legs, come back up, other side, coming back up, other side. So now, as we're doing this, your arms are going to be open, and as you do your skater lunge, you're going to do opposite arm to the front leg to touch the floor, come back up, touch the floor, come back up. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Just reach down, maybe to your knees, your shins, whatever you can touch. But if you can touch the floor, try that. So that's option one. You can stay here. You're doing your skater lunges. You're touching the floor or your knee, whatever you can reach. Option two, as you're doing this, you're going to take that back leg off the floor. So exactly the same thing, but the back leg is coming off the floor. Try not to uh, land on your arms either. Be careful not to fall forward. Okay. Option three. If you want even more of a challenge, you're welcome to jump, jump every time you go out to the side, but you don't have to, okay? So either both feet on the floor and you're touching the opposite arm to leg, or the back leg comes off the floor, but you're touching the opposite arm to leg on the floor, just the fingertips, or you can jump and lift that leg up as well, jump every time. Okay, you got 90 seconds. You're welcome to mix it up if you like. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So remember, you can do any version you want. Leg on the floor, leg off the floor, jump, whatever you like, but try to keep it controlled because I don't want anyone to fall forward as they're reaching the arm down. No one should be tumbling forward, okay? So please be careful. You're also welcome to do a few jumps and then a few non-jumping as well. Whatever works for you. You are 30 seconds in, you got one minute left. Keep those arms open, fingers wide. Go back to the non-jumping if you like. Feel free to switch it up, but keep moving if you can. You got 45 seconds left. Nicely done. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Be careful on your balance, don't tumble forward. 30 seconds. Nicely done, keep going. Remember, if this is too hard, put that foot down on the floor. Back foot down, that's okay too. Nicely done. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and press. Okay, next one, you're gonna find a wall. So ideally you're not using a closet door like I am, but you're finding a wall with nothing on it, hopefully, so that way you're not bashing any, any objects on the wall, okay. So you're leaning your shoulders back, your bottom back into the wall as well. Walk the feet out in front of you. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna slide down the wall into a wall sit, okay? Let me maybe go this way just for a second so you can see. So my feet are out, my back is on the wall. I'm sliding my entire back down the wall. So it's like I'm sitting on an invisible chair, okay? so. The movement here is we slide down the wall and you are going to give me a punch and a kick 
from punching and kicking with the opposite arm and leg, like that. If that's too hard, just do the punching or just do the kicking, because there is a little bit of a balance challenge here as well. So opposite arm to leg, punch and kick. And we're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Rest for 10 seconds. And we're gonna run through that three times, okay? So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off three times so that we get a total of 19 seconds. Okay, are you ready? This is your last exercise and then we run through all five exercises one more time and then you're done, so you're almost there. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Slide down the wall, opposite arm to leg, punch and kick, or just do the arms, or just do the leg, whatever you can manage here, last 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, 10 seconds rest. This will we get right back into it. You got three of these, you got two left. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Sliding down, here we go. 20 seconds on. Breathing. Get nice and low if you can, like you're sitting on a chair. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, standing up, rest, 10 second break, you got one more of these to go. How are we doing? You can do this, here we go, three, two, one, and go, get nice and low, last one, punch and kick if you can, opposite arm, two leg. Nicely done, you've got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done. Okay, I'm just gonna come forward, check that there's nothing in the chat box. No, we're good. Okay, so that was your first round. We got another round left, the same five exercises again. You're gonna grab hold of your tissue box or whatever you were using before. Putting it down on the floor, the first exercise, we're stepping over, nice high knees, reach those opposite arms, really open the fingers as wide as you can. And on the way back, lift that leg as high as you can to come back in. Same to the other side, opposite arm to leg reach, and coming back in, okay? Cool, are you ready? 90 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Really open those arms and reach as far as you can. Imagine there's a million dollars on the wall in front of you and behind you, and you want both. So you're really opening your arms. You're really opening those fingers in the palm of your hand, and you're lifting that leg as high as you can. Lifting the leg as high as you can. Nicely done. Lifting the leg as high as you can. Big stump back in. Make the movement as distinct and as sharp as you can. No flapping arms. Try not to wobble here if you can. Really reach back in. Big stomp, hold that balance. And in. Nicely done. Big reach. Remember to lift that leg as high as you can over the box, even on the way back in. Nobody should be doing this. I'm exaggerating. I'm sure nobody's doing that. Keep going. 30 seconds. Big step, big lift of the legs. Using those muscles in the legs to push yourself back. Nicely done, keep going. You got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, we're gonna keep the box where it is because our second exercise, we're still using the box. Hands forward, palms open, elbow straight. We're stepping out to the side into a big squat, and then we're gonna lift that leg back up, clap those hands together. Remember, arms aren't doing this. They're going like this the entire time, okay? Ignore my feet stands there. I have to move over, so I was hitting the, the blinds there. Okay, so we go open, 
clap. And every time your legs need to be lifting just as high as the time before, okay? Are you ready? 90 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Remember to keep those elbows straight. Arms up. Try not to let them go down here. Keep them up. Open the chest. Lift the legs as high as you can. Don't touch that tissue box if you can. Big step, big lift. Nicely done. You got one minute left, 60 seconds. Nicely done. Keep going, straight arms. Open the chest, clap. Open the chest, clap. Lift those arms up. Nicely done. Keep going. You've got 30 seconds left. You're almost there. Keep going. Nicely done. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and rest. Nicely done. Okay, you can move your box. Now, okay, you've done two exercises, you've got three left. So, our next one is our plank breaker. So, remember, this is the one where one leg is forward, one leg is back. Lift those arms up as if you're holding a plank of wood, and you're going to drive up on that front leg such that, such that your back knee comes out to break the piece of imaginary plank you avoid you have in your hands and then you reset okay so you're doing three of those reset and then after you do three keep your arms up keep your tummy muscles in you're gonna do three jump switches one two three to start on the other side or if you don't want to jump you can step back go one two three and then same thing on the other side. Now, really important, when you're doing your plank breaker, I don't wanna see anyone do this. You wanna try to grow taller, chest up, every time you do the plank breaker. Okay, are we ready? 90 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Remember you're doing three, of these plank breakers in your own time. Try to balance for a second or two. After you do the plank breaker, then you switch three times. One, two, three. Remember, jump is optional. Grow taller in that plank breaker. One, two, three. Remember, if you're jumping, I don't wanna hear the loud landing noise. You want it to be nice and light, okay? Keep going. Remember to balance for a second or two. After you do your plank breaker, balance for just a second or two, and then you reset. Nice and tall, grow tall. Nicely done, 30 seconds. Nicely done. How are we doing? Keep going. 20 seconds. Good. Keep going. As tall as you can. You're doing three plank breakers, followed by three switches. Last three, two, one, and rest. Nicely done. Okay. Two exercises left, and then we're done. So the next one is going to be our skater. So we have three options for this one. So option one, you're bringing the leg back on a diagonal. You're touching the floor with your opposite hand to your leg. Now, if you can't touch the floor, touch your knee, your shin, whatever you can reach. Stand back up, arms stay open, 
palms open, other side, leg goes back, touch the floor and open. So this is level one, you can stay here. Level two, if you would like to make it more challenging, same thing, but you're lifting that back leg off the floor. Now, because you've got the back leg off the floor, it doesn't mean that we're falling forward onto our hands. You still wanna make sure that your weight is over your leg. So if you did take your arm off, you're not gonna flop onto your face, right? So be careful here. Back leg up, that's level two. Or if you want, level three, you can add a jump. Jump between each of these skaters as well, okay? It's up to you. Whichever level works for you, you can mix all three up if you like. Okay. Are you ready? 90 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So whatever level you like, this is level one. Both feet on the floor, opposite arm, two leg. Or level two, back leg is up. Back leg is up. Or level three, add a jump. Just make sure when you land, we're not falling forward, but you're still light on the hands every time. Hopefully you've got more room than I do here as well. Keep breathing. Nicely done. Keep those arms up, fingers open at all times if you can. 45 seconds left. Feel free to switch back to any of the levels in between. Make sure we're not falling forward. Keep your weight on your legs. Nicely done. Keep going, well done everybody. Last 15 seconds. Keep breathing, open those fingers, catch your balance. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Next one is our wall sit. This is our very last one. So this is the one where we we're leaning our entire upper body onto the wall. Make sure there's nothing on the wall that you can hit. Feet forward. We're gonna slide down the wall like we're sitting. Let me go this way. We're gonna slide down the wall like we're sitting on an invisible chair. Okay, so sliding down, and we're gonna do opposite hand to leg, punching and kicking. So the arms are punching, the legs are kicking. Doing opposite arm to leg. Twenty seconds on. Stand up. Ten seconds off. Run through it three times. Now, if you're not able to do both the arm and leg, just either do the arms or just do the legs, okay? Just be careful not to fall here, but you do want to lean back into the wall. So if you're like this and your hips are coming off the wall, you're not going to balance very well. So really push back into the wall, okay? Right. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're doing it three times to get a total of 90 seconds and then you're done. Are you ready? You can do this. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Sliding down the wall, opposite arm, two leg, punching and kicking as much as you can. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, 10 seconds rest. Nicely done. We go again in three, two, one. Sliding down. The brakes always go by so fast. <laughs> Keep going. This is round two. You've only got one more after this. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up. Rest 10 seconds. You have one more round of this. You can do this, breathe. We go again in three, two, one, and go. Last one, make it good. Get as low as you can. Punch as hard as you can. Kick as far as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Standing up and rest. Legs nice and wide. Take your hands, reach one leg. Bend that knee that you're reaching to. The other leg is straight. So from the side, you're sticking your bottom back, okay? You should be able to feel the inner thigh stretch there. Breathe in. Coming up, same to the other side. Stick your bottom back as far as you can. You should feel a stretch on the inner thigh of that straightened leg. Coming up again, one more to the side, sticking your bottom back as far as you're able. Coming up last time, sticking your bottom back as far as you can. And coming back up. You're gonna bring one leg back behind you, almost like you're doing your plank breaker, but a little wider. You're going to keep the back leg as straight as you can, really dig that back heel down into the floor. And you should feel a stretch in the back half there. If you don't feel it, bring the leg further out. If your leg is like this, it's too far, bring it in a little bit, okay? Hold that stretch here, really push that back knee straight. Standing tall, push that back knee straight. And switch sides, same to the other side. Bend that front knee, straighten the back leg. Really think about pushing that back heel into the floor. Straighten that back knee as much as you can, standing tall. <sighs> Reach that heel to the floor, the back heel to the floor. And coming up, holding onto the wall still, you're going to take your hand, grab hold of your foot. And you're going to pull it to your bottom, keep the knees in line and push the hips forward to feel a stretch at the front of the hip and the thigh. Now, if you're not able to reach, if you can't reach your foot, you can pop the foot on something behind you like this. Just keep the knees in line. Don't let the knee come out or go forward. Keep the knee in line, push the hips forward and you should feel that same stretch down the front of your leg. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hold on to the foot, pull up towards your knee in line, push the hips forward. Or if you can't, you can put your foot on something, still keep the knee in line, don't let the knee come forward. Push the hip forward and you should feel it at the front of the hip and the thigh as well. Whichever one works for you, either you're holding on or you're not. And release, let's do one more on each side for this one, ready? Holding onto the foot, pulling it back, knee in line, push the hip forward, or placing your foot on a chair or, or something behind you. The higher the object behind you, the more difficult it is in terms of the more of a stretch you'll feel. Nicely done. Okay, release. Same on the other side for the last time. Bring that heel up. Keep it whatever works for you. Nicely done and release, okay. We're going to bring one leg forward and you're going to stick your bottom back, bending that back knee, the front knee is straight, you're reaching your hands all the way down towards your shin, your foot, whatever you can reach as far as you can. Keep the spine straight, stick the bottom back and you should feel that stretch in the back of the thigh. Nicely done, coming back up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Stick your bottom back. The front leg is straight, back leg is bent. Reaching as far down the leg as you can. Keep your spine straight if you can. Nicely done. Coming back up, one more on each side. Stick your bottom back, reach. Keep breathing. Coming back up, last time on the other side. Coming back up, legs nice and wide. Reach those arms up. Let's do a big side stretch. See how far you can go this time compared to the beginning of the class. So you're going a little further. Keep the chest forward if you can, so don't let yourself turn in. 
chest forward, shoulders away from the ears. Long reach with the arms. Coming back up, drop the arms, same to the other side, open, big lift over. Try to keep that chest forward. If you can, you should feel the stretch on the outside of that torso. Just notice here if you're going a little further than you did at the beginning. And coming back up, bring the legs in a little bit more. Take your hand, grab hold of the opposite hip. The other hand's gonna reach around the back, hold on to the other side so your hands are on the opposite hip. Stand tall and pull yourself around to look at the back wall. Growing taller through your spine. Keep your feet planted. Notice if you're twisting a little further. Nice and tall. And releasing to the other side. Take your hand. Grab hold of the opposite hip. The other hand reaches around to the other hip. Stand tall and rotate yourself around to look at the back wall. Feet stay planted. Just notice here if you're going to, um, if you're going a little further than you did at the beginning. Hopefully, yes. Nice and tall through the spine. And release, legs in. Big scoop down, breath in. And breath out. And again, big scoop, breath in. And breath out. Last one. Breath in. And breath out. You are done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for our September Challenger class. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're nice and sweaty now. <laughs> Remember, the classes are on our YouTube channel. If you did want to look at them at a later date, you can just uh, go on YouTube and search up Parkinson Society BC all in one word, and it should come up. So the video should be uploaded by this time next week. Um, if you do have any questions for us, you're welcome to drop us an email um, or give us a call and um, we'll do our best to answer a few questions. And uh, please definitely keep an eye out for our future class offerings in the fall. Okay. Well, happy September, everybody. Can't believe it's October soon. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in our future exercise classes. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Bye for now.